Hey guys, Ryan here. And in this video, I'm gonna be covering how to enable frame generation for any game if you've got a modern NVIDIA GPU. So for reference, when it comes to frame generation, it's normally restricted to the 40s and 50 series, which means that if you've got a 20 or a 30 series such as myself, then you're kind of missing out on this functionality. However, in this video, I'm gonna show you two little methods that allow you to get around this restriction. So the first method we're gonna be covering is using the DLSG to FSR free mod, which effectively adds AMD's FSR free frame generation, which is a universal technology, to games that already have native support for NVIDIA's frame generation. So in other words, what it means now is with my 3080, which is the card I use, I can now enable DLSS for the superior up to scaling technology, certainly in comparison to FSR free, and at the same time, now enable frame generation courtesy of the AMD technologies. So really, in other words, I now get the best of both worlds. Now the installation process is pretty straightforward. Uh, there's a couple of ways you can do it. My recommendation is literally the universal method. So I'll just quickly show you how this works. So if we go to files, and as you can see, there's a couple of options here. We want to choose the third option here where it says universal. So let's download that. Yeah, this is on Nexus Mod, so you will need a account in order to download that. It's a free account, so yeah, you don't have to pay for Nexus Premium or anything like that. Okay, so with that downloaded, we'll want to extract the archive. Yep, so we'll put it in the same location. And inside, you see there's quite different options here, depending on what game it is. As a general rule, the one I go for is this one here, where it's version. And literally just take a copy of all three of those files, so Control c and then you want to go to where the game's installation path is. So we use Oblivion Remastered as an example. So in this case, let's go back to the root. From here, you want to go to binaries, Win64, and effectively just paste it into this location here. So paste that on top. So paste. Uh, yeah, I've already installed, so we're going to replace the two files in its destination. Now, as you can see, you've now copied that across. So those three files are in there. You'll know this is going to work anyway because when you launch the game, you'll notice there's now a log file here. So let's uh, quickly just launch Steam and then Oblivion and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so with the game running, what we're going to do now is enable frame generation. So the way to do that is if we go to the main menu and if we scroll a little bit further down, you'll now see there's an option here where it says DLSS frame generation. Now at the moment in time, I've got this set to on. So I'm now just going to disable it. And as you can see, without that enabled, I'm getting about 70, 80, yeah, maybe 90, around that, that sort of frame. And yeah, I mean, the game's playable at that. It's just, it's nice to have something that's a bit more consistent. So to enable frame generation, go back to where we were. Make sure to set your frame rate limit. Uh, I personally use 120 because you want to aim for like a minimum of 60 FPS natively or natively plus upscaling. You know, as long as you're hitting that magic number of 60, it should work. Uh, you also want to disable VSync. And more importantly, you want to set a, a frame rate uh, limit. And the reason for that is that you want to have stable frame times. And if you don't have stable frame times, that what can happen is the game can like fluctuate between high hundreds lows, high lows, and the game's just going to be a bit of a stuttery mess. But yeah, 120 is probably the magic figure for my system, but if you've got more powerful hardware, or even if you want to, you know, maybe hit 90 instead of 120. Experiment, really, but what you don't want to do is play the game at something like 30 FPS and then expect it to magically increase to 120 because you're just going to see graphical artifacts all over the place and pretty much just stuttering. It's not going to be a great experience. Anyhow, Let's scroll down, so 120 set. Let's go down here at the bottom. And let's enable frame generation. Press F again. And as you can see, that is just magically shot up to 120. And yeah, it's pretty much consistent across the board, really. Now, you obviously will have slight little dips, but as a general rule, yeah, it works fantastic, this mod. So in terms of the mod itself, uh, I found that certain overlays are a bit funny. So Steam in particular can cause the game to crash quite frequently. 
but other overlays such as free shade as you can see I've got enabled doesn't really affect it so yeah if you're going to use the mod basically just disable the steam overlay and you should be good to go but yeah really it's just a fantastic little mod and it works amazingly for games that basically have native support already for frame generation I suppose it begs the question what do you do when you don't have a game that has native frame generation support in that case there's a fantastic piece of software available on steam called lossless scaling that now has support for frame generation so once you've installed the software then launch it as normal and you'll find that the main interface of lossless scaling is straightforward and it's quite customizable but there's already only two sections we need to focus on and that's the frame generation section and capture so under the frame generation section, you want to make sure that the type that you're going to be using is the latest version, which in this case is LSFG 3.0. You want to check, set your mode to adaptive. And then under where it says flow scale, this is going to give you an idea of what we're upscaling from. As a general rule, with a 1440p display, you want to go for about 75%. Uh, 4K is about 50%. But again, you want to experiment with this. It really depends. Obviously, the, the more information you can throw at the system, the better the quality of the image is going to be. Now, next bit is the capture section where you've got a capture API. If you're running Windows 11, 24H2 and later, then you want to choose the option for WGC, which is a newer technology that Microsoft have included when it comes to graphic capturing. Now, from here, there's nothing further you need to do or change for frame generation to work. In fact, the only real requirement is that this will only work with games in windowed mode, so boardless window and not full screen. And of course, once again, you want to aim for that target of 60 FPS. So let's choose a game that doesn't have support for frame generation. So let's go with uh, Fallout 76. Okay, so with the uh, game running, what we need to do now is tab out. And if we bring up lossless scaling, all we need to do is click the big button at the top that says scale which is going to do a countdown from five seconds to one and if we have a look at the top left hand corner of the screen i'll move it across this a bit easier to see uh, you can see that the actual frame rate natively is 120 and the figure to the right is the frame generated uh, frame rate so uh, as you can see the game runs pretty damn good uh, it will occasionally dip but you know, that's just expected, it's an old game. But as you can see, you're running at a solid 120, which is the frame rate cap that I put for this particular setup. But again, just experiment, do, what you, do whatever feels best for your system. And really, that's it, that's the end of the video. You've now got a method of using frame generation with any NVIDIA GPU. And with that, you're all done. Okie dokie, so in conclusion, I found that as games become more demanding and the price of graphics cards are just still skyrocketing. It's getting a bit crazy, really. It's still fantastic to know that there are newer technologies available, such as frame generation, and you can actually backport them to existing hardware, although it's kind of unofficial, but you know, it works. In the words of Todd Howard, just works. In either case, thank you for watching this video today, and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, then please don't forget to leave a like, share the video, and then subscribe to this channel to see more content like this in the future. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye now.